having uh, the breakfast <laughs> of champions right now. Look at that, doesn't that look good? Mm. We are at Skydive Twin Cities in beautiful Baldwin, Wisconsin, Yellow City. We're here today with Medina. What's up? So yeah, this is my first time. I'm very excited. So, so you ready to do a little skydiving yes. today? Yes. All right. Any hellos, goodbyes, anything like that? I love everybody. All right. Sounds good. We'll see you over in that airplane. Welcome back, Medina. You did great. Yay. Oh, it was amazing. What was your favorite part? Jumping from the plane. You were laughing a lot up there. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny, I was, huh? I was shocked, actually. I couldn't believe that it was real. Did you try it again? Uh, maybe. Maybe. We did it. How was it? It was great. <laughs> it's July 25th, 2020. What have we done today? We went to skydiving. Uh, first time for me, but second time for you. But it's, anyways, first time for both of us. I had fun. It was good. Uh, I got a little sick. I think I had like motion sickness. Now we are going for a walk. Uh, just enjoy this day. We normally we normally go for walks around our house when it's nice. Yeah. Sometimes we can't because we're in Minnesota and it gets very cold, right? Yeah. So we have to try to enjoy the summer. Starting again. state um, well first I was falling in love to, to this country um, even though I am from Kazakhstan I love this country a lot and I like this state uh, it's like hometown for me and um, other than snow yeah I do enjoy this state but I wish it will be a little bit longer warm weather I mean like summer or I don't know spring but um, still, I like it. There's a lot of fun to do. It's very green, beautiful state for sure. Hi. Hello. Question. What do you love? 
do I love? I love my wife, of course. <laughs> my parents and my friends. Um, I try to find something to love in pretty much everything because it's easy to hate, but it's more difficult to love. And I think everybody, even even those that have different views from you, even those who uh, have done mean or terrible things, uh, you can find something to love, and I think you know, everybody deserves a second chance. So um, I think I try to live my life with as much love as possible. Mm -hmm. This year we um, decided to expand on our gardening here. With a lot more time at home, you have a lot more time to work on these hobbies that sometimes you would normally neglect. Uh, it's pretty much taken over this whole section of the garden. The one growing right there. It's a pretty good sized one here. This whole area is dedicated to tomatoes. You can see we got all kinds. Got the small cherry tomatoes. We've also got some large beef eater tomatoes as well. And uh, this one's having some troubles. And uh, got some larger ones over here. Look at these, these are real nice and ready to be picked. Pretty much every day or every other day we have a nice selection to choose from. It's gonna be a good tomato, you can just tell. We had some basil growing here. Look at all that basil. We had some dill over there, it's pretty much gone. Some arugula. This is all raspberry bushes. We haven't gotten a ton of raspberries. Uh, we also planted some strawberries. Strawberry bushes. We only got a couple of strawberries. You can see one there. It's growing kind of weird. We built this fence this year. This was all pretty much just an open area. Uh, there were those couple little pads. But yeah. Did some pretty good work this year. Here's our little blueberry bush too. It's outside of the garden, gardening area, but we gotta pick these blueberries. Some of them are already starting to dry up. We're here in Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes. In one of those lakes right now, near the Twin Cities, and uh, we are kayaking. It's kind of a rainy day to be kayaking, but it's beautiful out here, and anytime you're stressed, if you get out in nature, it's like hitting the reset button. So peaceful out here. We're fortunate enough to live in an area where we've got a lot of lakes, and we also live near uh, this park, so it's even better. And we're fortunate enough to be able to uh, to buy some inflatable kayaks, which this is going to change our summer. What do you love? I love you. Um, I love my parents. I love my sister. I love my friends. I love uh, my country where I was born. And which is? I love, which is Kazakhstan. And I love the country where I live. Which is uh, USA, and yeah, I love the opportunity to leave and uh, to explore, to learn, uh, to travel, and to challenge myself. Yeah. What do you fear? Um, I fear uh, probably lose um, my loved ones. Um, other than that, like phobia, I guess I can say. Actually, one of the phobia was uh, to be in open lake uh, because I just learned to sw how to swim. Uh, so I was afraid to actually be in the middle of lake. So here think, you are. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm getting used to it. <laughs> You're conquering that fear. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, I think that's it. What, uh, what would you like to change, either about your life or about the world? 
about my life um, I would like to get my uh, degree here uh, I'm a pharmacist but I would like to become a pharmacist in the United States uh, so it will give me more option to find a better job and, um, and travel more uh, eventually have kids of course uh, have bigger family We are ending the day with the sound of music and some delicious popcorn. What is in your pocket? Something that I always have to carry in my pocket, something that pretty much everybody has in their pocket now is a uh, face mask. So um, this is something we're all required to wear in 2020 in order to help stop the spread of COVID-19, which is a uh, virus that actually started in 2019 and now it's affecting our whole world. It's affecting uh, us. We wanted to go to Kazakhstan this year and uh, it's something that should be in everybody's pocket right now.